Hi everyone, for all you craft lovers, I have some hauls of craft items. And before I get into it, I have a quick story. <laughs> First time I wave with my right hand, this is from Top Tonics. And they contacted me to let me know they had a birthday package day two, as this thing said. When I say contacted me, I don't mean that I'm some, well, I am important. We all are important. I don't mean that they, um, I got the first pick of something, not that I was contacted via email that's what i mean they contacted me which is a form of contacting and to let me know that they had this birthday bundle now i have many of tonics items that they produce matter of fact these are tim holt scissors that come under the tonic umbrella you need a course in, in this stuff with the tem with the tonics and the spell builders and all that stuff who who what they come under anyway. Fifty-five dollars they ask for this. And I said, What? Never ordered a kit. I've seen kits before, even thirty, thirty-five dollars wasn't so much worth it to me. Um, even the kits with the, the knit crate, even the Hersner kits, after a while you get kits and you feel like they're not worth the money that you pay for them. That's why I'm not in a monthly subscription with the craft kits. Well, they said that this bundle was valued at $240 and I go, no way. No way. $55. That's a lot of money. But never have to order from them as far as a kit is concerned. Never saw no one open a kit for them. And I just said, okay, I'm going to do it. And I prayed. I hope I get my money's worth. I was very nervous. Wasn't nervous about the clock quality of their stuff because I know they have excellent quality items. I am familiar with that. When I opened the box, the first thing I noticed right there was Tim Holt scissors. I was done. I was done. I said I got my money's worth from this one item. If you ever work with these scissors, now he's into black. You can't get the red unless they're left over. But the new color is the black. And these, see? So when they sit around your thumb, you don't get that ache and pain. Very nice. And I was so excited when I got these. I checked Amazon, and these are going for $18, $18, and we haven't even got $18 for my $55, that's about $37 to go, look, look, and I, these are not the, yeah, see, these are new ones, these are soft. You can't get the red ones anymore unless they're hanging out. No one hasn't purchased the red ones. But the new stuff that's coming out is the black. See? I was done. I was done. And look at the 10. When we love all of our good scissors, be housed in something that take care. Scissors are expensive. They should not be thrown in a drawer. They should be taken care of like your knives. Mm -hmm. They're nice in the drawer, but they shouldn't be. Um, they should have their own little special spot. Really nice, right? Okay, move on, Penny. I was, I said, I got my money. And look, another pair of scissors by Tonic Studios. 
and these are fine control crafters snips mm -hmm. titanic coated blade i will have to cut all this everyone to get that out of there you get the gist 55 dollars and this is the Nubo Adhesive Tape Runner. Now, I do have the big runner, the real big one, like you work at the post office. I have that one, but I do not have a small one. I have a big one, a large one, and a medium-sized one. So, I'm definitely be happy about this one. Matter of fact, I was working in my journal, traveler's notebook, whatever you want to call it and i could have used i thought about this i said i could use that small tape runner but i was downstairs i was not coming to the third floor mm -hmm. so i am definitely gonna put this in one of my pouches i'll show you one of my pouches like this one from spellbinders and this way i can house a a lot of my little things in it so I can grab it quickly. So I'll probably put some of my favorable tools in here and put it on the bookshelf downstairs. Mm -hmm. So that'll be really nice. I like this. Sometimes the big one is too big to get into those little spaces. Remember my $55. And I am late to the game on the Nubo um, drops. And they have a bunch of different colors on these. Now, what happened with that, for instance, would you emboss this design on a piece of paper? You can take these drops and you can put on it and it'll come out with something like this. But you need a, a heat gun, which I do have. Mm-hmm. And that'll make it, it, it'll come out, it looks so pretty. And then they have the glitter one. So I read up on this, they have the glitter. A new, a whole new game. And I'm three years late on that. I stopped crafting anyway. I just got back into it recently. So some of this stuff I had to look up. Embellishment, um, use, it adds metallic to it. You just rub it on. And it changes, change your whole design. Mm -hmm. Really nice. This has two dies in it. Yeah. So this is a cut and die system, and it has two in there. Two different styles. Okay. Mm hmm Two different styles. What else we have? Yeah, let me put the tape over here. It's being that we on dies. And these are larger dies. Remember, $55. This can this contain 13 dies. Oh hold on. This is for decorative clips and tabs. It's a die set. Mm-hmm. See, these are all the things that it make from paper and um, cardstock, corkboard. You want something thicker. And if you, f I noticed that when I find dies and I don't know how to put them together, most likely it's a video on the company website or someone on YouTube probably was um, working with it. 13. That's about a $20 die, if not more. Then this one, I really like this one. This contains four dies. I know my special friend, she brought this. Mm -hmm. She brought more stuff than I did. Not to tell your business. <laughs> and this one has all the months in the year. And then it gives you from zero 
to nine and the different um, endings of the letter, whether it's second, third, um, things like that. And this contains four dies. I like this die. I really do. So if you want to add, look at they created that book. And they have things, so whether it's pictures in there or just special moments from 1973. Mm. And this was the second one. The first one sold out. I was thinking too long. Long and wrong. This is four dice. These are cards to make cards. Mm -hmm. Thank you, congratulates. Thank you and congratulations. Well, they said congrats. Mm -hmm. These are pretty. And you can put some of that Nouveau powder and stuff on, on here. And you can get these colors. And of course, you know I have rhinestones. And I think these are eyelets. Similar to rhinestones. You can go broke with this stuff. One thing about this stuff, you don't have to buy cards anymore. All your gifts for birthdays and holidays and anniversaries will be the best. Warmest wishes. I did open this one. Oh, I didn't. Let me show you what it looked like. I did open this one. I can't believe I got all this stuff for $55. Trying not to get cut because some of these some of these dies are intricate. So this is what actually what it looks like. So see that top high? And once you put it through the machine, the die cut machine, it'll come out exactly what you see. And it's mirrored. The the writing is mirrored. So once it print out, it'll print out um, right side the way you should read. It's your day. Mm-hmm. Calvin and I is coming up on a big anniversary, so I may make some things for the tables with this one. Mm-hmm. This one has six dies in it. I cannot believe this. What a good buy. Excellent buy. Oh, this is a stencil. Wow, leaves and trees to add to your flowers, see? And then you take another stencil um, on top of this one because it has flowers in it and you can add onto that. And then you just color it, pencils, watercolor, or you can use ink as well with a soft brush and water. And this is all paper. It's a pad of paper. 24 sheets in here. Look at this. Just absolutely wonderful. See, you always need small sheets of paper. Like you need small cuts of fabric. Mm -hmm. I'm glad they starting to get into the small sheets of paper because scrapbook and they just had that big 12 by 12. So this is a classic card. Uh, this is weave texture, more like a fabric. This is really nice. I have a big box over here that you probably cannot see to get to. So I'm not gonna open up all these papers. This is electric purple. This is the mirror. I was excited to get this. They were selling this. They sell this, I think, for $4.79. It was on sale yesterday. They may still have some on the website for $1.79. I was tempted, but I didn't buy any. This is pretty, too. Navy blue weaving. This is really nice because it feels like you can, like, they pack it. Plastic. You can bust them. Make that noise, that popper noise. 
This is really nice. I can imagine what this costs. Mm-hmm. 150 grams, 55 pounds. Five sheets. I have no idea what I'm going to use that for. Did I show you this one? This one also was very pretty. Really pretty. Really nice. $55. I could not believe that. All of this stuff. Like I said, the scissors alone, $18. So basically, I got all this stuff for $30. Once I, uh, once I finish with the video, I can put this stuff in a drawer and get it out the box. And this is from Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Elizabeth Craft Designs. Mm -hmm. I got this. They had a sale on this. I don't know if my special friend ordered some of this or not. This was all good, nice sales. So this is some background stamps. If I have, it was either on clearance or a, a good sale. So I don't buy anything regular price unless I really need it. And... This is paper, small paper. What size is this? 12 sheets. I don't see the size. Design and print in Italy. Mm -hmm. What size is this? I know this is not a five by, I don't even know. What size is this? I don't see it on here. I don't see it. I just see 12 sheets. Okay, that's it. Let's just go on. So this right here I'll tell you, i show you the colors of the paper you get. And this is very good quality paper. Really good. Some of that paper that Joanne have on sale, open stock, 79 cents and you get 50% off then you can use an extra 20% off some of that oh excuse me paper is very flimsy mm -hmm. this is pretty mm -hmm. really nice this is the Christmas stuff let me just do it this way Oh, it's just one of everything. I thought it was two. Oh, that's nice. Usually they give you two of um, each print. That's nice. Good and bad, because if you really like one sheet, you don't have enough. Yeah. Where did we start at? I don't even remember. <laughs> Probably with the and these three is so pretty to work with these three together in a project. Really nice. So I think I have the bigger sheets too to go with that. So this is another pad. Just say cheese. It's weird that I cannot see the sides. Oh, here we go. I found it. It's right here. 12 sheets, 6 by 6. I knew this was no 5 by 7. Mm -hmm. Healthy lifestyle. That's the name of this pack. What is that? Relaxed in Garden Collection? Sometimes it's writing pretty, but it's not easily read. I guess this is vintage collection. Mm -hmm. And 
let it snow. Actually, it's not in because I have one more. And this is the Xmas Vintage Collection. And I took this one off the top. I love paper. Paper, 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 paper. And these are all of the big pieces that corresponds with the little one. Mm-hmm. So this is the bigger sheet. Of the Xmas. Oh, you can see the paper on the back. That's even better. Mm -hmm. Just say cheese. Oh, wow. This is so exciting. I am definitely looking forward to this healthy lifestyle. That's just one sheet. That's just one sheet. The Beautiful Season Collection. I don't think I have this in a small pack. So this is the 12 sheets. And then they just show you one of one sheet. Mm -hmm. I think this is, yeah, we saw this one. That was the first one. Yeah, so exciting. So exciting. Can't never have enough paper. Stamps, ink, glue, crayons. Can't have enough of none of it need more and more and more okay let's move to this big box everyone let's get to this big box as i finish you can put this all up in my new craft drawers that i bought oh this big box wow all crafts I'm gonna break my fluffy. Oh, it's heavy. See? All the goodies! <laughs> Woo! Seeing that I was crocheting so much, I finished my ditch cloth. I'm concentrate on my ditch towels. I figure I can get into my other love, which is crafting this is this 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 box is from spellbinders they still have a lot of stuff on clearance online i told you about that a couple of months ago so these is already good you can't see i want to show you this the clock is in the way it's actually over this way you can't see it but this is the same side so Basically, it comes unfinished, so you can decorate it. See how that's decorated right there? You can decorate it. You can draw on it, stencil on it. Your kids can do stuff to it, put pictures, whatever you want to do to it. That's why it's unfinished. A lot of people want their stuff unfinished so they can add their own little personal touch to it. Sometimes you go in a store and you want one of these, and it's, it's not in the color that you want it to be in. So, it's good that they give you other avenues. So, three reading binders, the same as the rest of them. What I was going to talk about, well, AC Moore is not around anymore. And Michaels doesn't do it as much. But you know when you're in Hobby Lobby and Michaels and they have the how-to whether you painting, crocheting, knitting, those fit exactly in here. Mm -hmm. And I have a stack of them. And I learned that from, I can't think of her name now. It'll come. She doesn't comment all the time, but she watches. Um, I know her last name is Muhammad. It'll come to, um, it'll come to me, but she is... She was the first person over five years I go I, I noticed that was doing the ice halls five, seven years ago. First person. Mm-hmm. And she has a lot of yarn. Especially a lot of ice yarn. Yep. Yep. Five, seven years was the first 
Nadira is her name. Nadira. Hi, Nadira. Yeah. She watches from time to time. Sometimes she comments, sometimes she doesn't. And she told in one of her videos, she was put putting the AC Moore and the Hobby Lobby um, how-to in here because it fits perfectly. So keep that in mind. You can get these binders anywhere. Let's see. They have three ring binder. Let me see if they have the size to it. It's just standard three ring small binder. I always loved these things even when I was going to school. Of course, I can't find the size, but your standard three ring binder. I made Calvin one and I got it from Staples off the clearance rack. They were Martha Stewart and I read and I put all types of stickers and stuff on his and, and Bible verses and he loves his binder. He, lo he uses his binder more than I use mine. Um, I made one for myself, but it's no, I'm no longer into that area in my life. So I have to change it around so it just doesn't sit there. So one day, if you remind me, I'll show you Calvin's binder. So it's good to get, if not one you can finish off, just a regular blue or red one. And you can put those items in there from Hobby Lobby or Michaels. So you keep them in a nice spot. All right, let's see what this stuff is. Okay, doing. All right, so this. I was saying to you, but. I'm just making sure I don't cut my finger. Because these scissors are excellent cutting scissors. They had to package this very well because this is paint. Acrylic, non toxic paint. They did an excellent job. They did an excellent job. This is my third order from them. I can remember I brought all those bags. Excellent at shipping. So these are all different color paints. Blue Lagoon, Sweet Berry, Lemon Drop. This is what this is. So happily I got this out of there because I wanted to gel paint. I love gel paint, and, and then they have a protector in the inside. Mm -hmm. I want to gel paint. This was a very reasonable price, and the colors I did get um, was good with your oatmeal cookie, buttercream, bubble gum, cool pool. Pineapple smoothie, mm -hmm. black lagoon. I love the gel paint and whipped cream. I thought I got black. No black. Yeah, I have black from the basic. I got from AC Moore. Every time I think about that store, I just feel like it's. I don't even have to close my eyes, but I can tell you everything, where everything is at when you first come in that store. Yeah, remember I was telling you about that, that paper, it reminds me of this, the one you pop. That's how that paper feels, just like this. I have a huge garbage can, so if I throw it, it doesn't go on the floor because the garbage can is so wide. It goes right into the garbage can. What's this? What's this? Oh, this is to make a bow. 
and you can I don't know how big this is but you can put it on cards on gifts packages mm -hmm. not going in the mail you have to on bags you have to hand deliver that um, unless your box or the card is inside something this is a 3d embossing I don't have no 3d I just started with the 3d recently and they are expensive Mm -hmm. I was watching Tim Holtz with the 3D. Make it that to make. I like these. I use most of my Faith Journey cards the other night. Slice of Life cards. So basically, you take these cards. They like if you have, you go to the beach or something or in the backyard. You're just chilling. And you can just take these cards and you can write on them little things. It's not kiddish. I don't like too much kiddish stuff. Some of that stuff is um, too kiddish for me. If that's your thing, that's your thing. I have no problem with that because I'm quite sure somebody don't like all of my taste of things either. Um, these are your face cards. I have some over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bear with me. I do have some, but... <laughs> Bear with me. I probably used them all up. I don't see them right there, and I'm not gonna go too much further. My apologies. But I was um, working in my journal, and I used a lot of them. But these are different cards that has different face things on them. And these are Traveler's Note Refills. I definitely can use these to go into the Traveler book. This is definitely going to come in handy. And I think this is a, the same side that I'm using with Diane Reevely. I have to just take this downstairs and check. My apologies if I'm going too fast, everyone. It's just a lot to get through. That went on the floor, so I have to pick that up. Remember the book, the notebook. These are some additional inserts I, I brought. I think these are a buck, a dollar. Again, spell binders go online. They still have those bags and roller carts that I purchased. These, I purchased these. These are bags. I purchased these bags. Again, I told Calvin, I really need to start looking at different sizes and pulling out my measuring tape because I should have learned. When I used to shop at QVC, and yeah, I was a queen and all that, but that was five years ago. I stopped shopping there. Um, I used to get caught with order, ordering things, and when I came, most of the time, it was smaller than it was. And some of the hosts that were selling items, not the hosts, some of the sellers, they would actually say, hey, this is bigger than what is showing on screen. Some of them, not all of them. So I told Calvin, I really need to start measuring stuff. Because had I would have measured this, I would have known that this was too big for what I needed it for. I thought it was probably a bad this width and this high. And I got four times that. But we're getting ready to have a party, a big party. Me and Calvin by ourselves and the family is going to drive by. And some that we like, we'll wave to. And some that no, some that we like, we'll feed, and some that we <laughs> don't like, we'll just wait until it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, so whoever comes by, they'll get um, food. So uh, we're having a party, just me and Calvin, and uh, everybody's invited, but they just can't come in. They just can't come in. So the other night, I had a ingenious idea i said i can use these bags to put treats in them so 
So I'm going to go on a candy run. I'll take you with me. We have a warehouse, a couple of warehouses here in New Jersey. One is three blocks from my house. And they sell boxes of candy that you find at your corner store or the supermarket. Yeah, wholesale stuff. Yep, and they sell to the public. And then that supermarket I go to, Restaurant Depot, is not a supermarket. The warehouse I go to, they also sell bulk candy. And you saw the potato chips. Mm -hmm. So I'll use this and for treats. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll try to find some party flavors to put in here as well. This, and this was, I don't know. A dollar, dollar ninety, ninety nine, twenty five. So I really need to order some more of this. Twenty five, no more than two dollars. Mm -hmm. Excellent deal right there. Okay, I see some bags in here that I brought before that I showed you in another video. And these bags are so inexpensive and they're excellent quality. I don't understand why they're still up there. No, they're not sold out yet. And this is the second buy. Nice for even makeup pens, pencil brushes, makeup brushes, lip gloss diaper bags who knows this one's probably big enough for the baby and i showed you this one already just beautiful stuff mm -hmm. and i want another set i really do i want everything and this is a 3d stamp hold on one second i want to see who this by this is oh spell binders but sometimes they have another name on it Mm-hmm. Hopefully these video go up by before the eleventh. If not, um you're gonna miss it because I'm gonna make an announcement that um HSN's having a craft show all day on eleventh. And I apologize in advance if this video is not up before then. This is really nice. What's this page? It was established in 1986. Look how pretty this is. Like a champagne color. See how nice that is. Mm -hmm. A little pricey. But when you see it, you can see why. It's really nice quality. Really nice quality. And another thing I'm starting to mess up with is that I'm buying paper for things that I'm assuming is one size and I don't know. See, I need to know the size of this. Yeah, and I did that with Hobby Lobby picking up stuff. So my I have a problem with sizes, measuring stuff, knowing what what things are. Mm -hmm. But this is really nice. So, when we travel, we do road trips, I like to take notes. Even if we pass in another state, I'll put down the date in the state that we just, not passing, that we coming, up, um, coming to. And then I'll put down the, mar the uh, mileage, what the temperature is, a little bit of things like that. That's what I like to do. So when we go back and look, I can see a lot of notes. Um, the lakes and different overlooked spots. And it's, um, I, 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 that's how I keep myself busy in a car. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot of work because we went from New Jersey to Vegas. Yeah, that was a lot of work. And you're not going to remember anything, everything, not anything, but you're not going to remember any, um, everything, especially when we went to Vegas, all that altitude after we got up in Denver. Oh my God. Me and Calvin had a massive headache. 
And the doctor said to us that doing all that driving, we we put our body into um, a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. From uh, it was um, very hot in Denver, but once we got up into that mountain, which took about two hours to climb. It was freezing cold and I took a picture of the temperature and I also wrote it down, the high elevation. So we was above the trees. Yeah, great experience. Mm -hmm. But one thing about us, we do, if we drive, we drive anywhere from eight to 12 hours and norm, and after, it's, after it gets dark, not, nine to 10 o'clock at night, we always get a hotel room. So we treat it as if we're going to work for eight to 12 hours, then we, we go into a hotel room. We don't drive um, 18, 20 hours a day. We don't do that. Mm -hmm. So this is good for your uh, traveling. And then you have your ID, credit card information right there. And please, when you travel, make sure people know where you are. And those little stickers on the side of the road, those are mileage marks. So, for instance, if it's, say, 1455, if you need to call somebody and they'll say, where you at? And you goes, I don't know. You'll look at their mileage mark and say, hey, I'm at 1455 heading west. And they'll find you like that. That's what those things are for. And I had to learn that from Calvin many years ago. I never I never knew what they was. And I never had enough sense to ask anyone. And I wound up asking Calvin. One day we were headed down to Atlanta City. He told me. Okay, last thing everyone. Is paper. Love paper. Can't craft without paper. Some form of paper. Okay, see how beautiful wrapped everything is? Mm -hmm. It's just in a box. Green or something like that. Your paper is protected. Just cut this. The Expo, they're online, Facebook, YouTube, whatever other social media going on for the whole month of August. So it's the Expo, Craft Expo. And if you if you see this and it's in the middle of August because I have a lot of videos to upload, you can still go back and look at the pre-recorded videos. And they'll show they show you how to make different projects and some of the discount codes that they have is going past the month of August. And it was a couple of it was two sites that I am interested in ordering from. Yeah. I'm just gonna open up one. So this is Fun Stampers Journey. And this is basic pastel colors. So you get 24 double-sided sheets. And this is 12 inches by 12 inches. I used to say just 12 by 12. So you have six designs in here and you get four of each. Let's see. Yep, really good. Better than that stuff they were selling at Joann's. The five by three. Um, I think that was a little bit bigger than five by seven. I'm not sure of that. But it wasn't 12 inches. Mm -hmm. And then on the back side. Yeah. Oh, whoops, that. Oh, I know what that is. I have mason jars. And the top popped. So 
I put some some glue in the mason jar. <laughs> it startled me. I don't know if you heard that pop. Okay. I like Halloween. I'm not a big fan of Halloween, but I saw some nice stuff. And I thought I may make some little things. I always wanted to have a Halloween party. Always. Now I have one. That hurt your eyes, sorry. This one too, right? Yeah, pretty nice paper. Yeah, in the beginning of scrapbook, and they always had these big sheets, and it was like, what do I do with this? So now that they have in the smaller sheets, that's really nice, even though you can cut these down. Mm -hmm. But I don't think the, the big pads are, are as popular as they used to be. This hurts your eyes as well. Okay, so. Okay. Just put this one in here. These are neutrals. These are pretty neutral colors. It's the same information. Confectionery prints. Ooh. The faith journey prints. And these correspond back to these. That's going to be nice. I'm excited about that. Oh, wow. I am excited. I am really excited. And guess what? I ordered two. Yay. <laughs> the other day, I tell you, I used a whole pack of this stuff up. The stamps and stickers, I sure did. I'm glad I got two of those. Okay, that's it. I can put this stuff up in my new craft drawer so I can stop stepping over these boxes. And I didn't show you the little pack. This is Weekend Fun. Love the moments. This looks like some type of map right there. Mm -hmm. This would be beautiful. This stuff is in fabric too. Oh my goodness. Sunshiny day. All the little things. Really nice. Sometimes you just need a little bit of paper. Sometimes you may need a bigger one. Yeah. I think these um, probably can fit in a frame. Eight and a half by 11 frame. Mm -hmm. I'll look into that. Five by seven as well. That'll be nice. And hang around the house. I'll be looking to that. That's a good idea. Thanks, everyone, for participating. Thanks for your thumbs up. Thanks for your warm wishes. Thanks for your beautiful stories. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.